Hey ho guys! Welcome back to Let's Play Kirby 64. In the last episode, we started on our journey to collect the crystal shards that have spread throughout the whole entire galaxy with the help of Ribbon. In the last episode, we took on the task of starting our journey and we saved Waddle D. Then afterwards, we went through a forest and we saved Adeline, the cute painter girl. Now we are moving on to the third stage. And I just love this game. I love this game so much. If you guys like what you are uh, watching with this Let's Play, then please leave a like, leave a comment, and click on the subscribe bell to get notified whenever I upload any videos, especially new ones. But for now, we're going to get started with this uh, next episode. And we are going to start on the third stage. <sighs> anyway, let's get started. The little rocket is a bomb ability, okay. Toronto Bird. I at least remember some of the enemies in this game. But some of the newer ones, that's a complete different story. Yeah, dodging helps out greatly, especially for this part. Anyway, throw away the bomb ability. Fire. Wait, wait, wait. I actually need Sir Kibble. Yeah, I need the cutter ability. Double cutter ability. Get a much more powerful ability with the cutter. We will need that much later on. Okay, now we're gonna head on into the castle. Oh, I just love the music for this game, seriously. Oh, that's a ghost knight right there. He will try to guard against any attacks that we throw at him, especially copy abilities. So I think it's probably just best to inhale him first, more than anything. I also love this game for its 3D uh, presentation and aesthetics. Because there's so much stuff going on in the background, too. For being an N64 game, this is the first 2D to 3D Kirby game. But I can thank it very much for what it does because this is just so colorful and cute. I love this game cut through here and get these three stars. Let's listen to this music real quick. Uh, I love that little build up with that music. Anyway, back outside. Uh, now we're on the second of the uh, castle. Oop. Watch out. Okay. I apologize if my commentary isn't too, you know, engaging. I apologize, you guys. Because uh, I do this unscripted and whatnot. Anyway, there was a small sandwich over there. Anyway, we're gonna drop down to this area. Here's another uh, thing. Like I mentioned before in one of the earlier stages, uh, the crystal shards are usually hidden behind uh, small little blocks and whatnot that you gotta destroy with copy abilities. Well, I have just the ability, the double cutter ability. Get this, and we got the crystal shard. In various areas, Adeline will show up. And will give us a maximum tomato, or on occasion, a one-up. Thank you, Adeline! And here's a ledge that we can climb up on, and here's the next crystal shard! Alright! But yeah... Ugh... I just adore this game for what it is. It's so cute! 2D to 3D aspect, and it really takes advantage of the N64's, uh, processing power. 
Oh, that saw enemy I destroyed earlier? He was also a cutter ability. We could have inhaled him to get the cutter ability, but yeah. I'm just gonna ignore him. Anyway, climb up. They're trying to give us a lot of fire ability, but I don't need them. Anyway, here's the chain that we need to climb up on. Hey, it's King Dedede! Uh-oh, there's a crystal shard there too! Come on, give it back, King Dedede! Come on! Uh-oh! And now we have to fight King Dedede because he's possessed by dark matter now. Yikes! Yep. Ow. He'll usually pound the ground with his hammer and he'll try to jump around, basically, to attack us. Then after a while, he'll start floating in the air. He'll try to grab us with his uh, stomach to try and inhale us, but no, we won't allow that. No, I will not allow it, King DDD. And on occasion, because he's possessed, he'll shoot out a little dark matter energy. Energy bombs. But we managed to defeat him. And there's the third crystal shard. You okay, King DDD? But we got the crystal shard anyway, so let's get going. And Waddle Dee's like, eh? Why should I come with you? Uh, forget it. Well, okay. But then he's like, eh, fine! I'll come with you! So now King DDD is part of our little crew. I want that little card right there. I got a star instead, but oh well. Alrighty. So now we have King DDD, Waddle D, and we have the uh, at Painter Girl Adeline. Now we come up to our first boss, and in in traditional Kirby fashion. It's Wispy Woods. Also, I love the music for this game, seriously. In order to take out Wispy Woods, we have to attack these little tree enemies right here. I guess these little mini Wispies. Wispy Woods will basically shoot out sap at us, and on occasion he'll shoot out his apples as usual. But yeah, tr traditional Kirby 64 boss. After taking out the little Wispy Woods, now Wispy Woods gets angry at us. He'll shoot out apples on occasion. And he'll send out these little tree stumps toward us. Attack the tree stumps, because that's the way how to basically damage him. Yeah. He'll shoot out apples, then he'll try to shoot out sap at us, like he usually does as traditional Wispy Woods. But all we have to do is just attack the, uh, the little tree pikes he shoots up at us. Hehe. <laughs> Wispy Woods is simple. There really isn't too much in order to, uh, go through whenever it comes to dealing with this enemy. Okay, one more, and he will fall. But yeah, he's simple, he's simple. And there we go! There is the Crystal Shard, and there we go! Okay, Popstar is safe. But now, we have to move on to our next planet. There goes Ribbon, and we follow in tow. So yeah, I know it's a little short, but I'm gonna cut this episode right here. In the next episode of Let's Play Kirby 64, we move on to level 2, Rockstar. I will see you guys next time. Until then, Leo is out. Peace!